This is Pet Life Radio. Let's talk pets. Hey everyone, welcome once again to Groomer Humor on Pet Life Radio. We are your hosts. I'm Rudy V along with my son, Anthony Ray, and we are so excited about this particular show because, again, guys, it's Happy New Year time. It's 2018. We'd like to wish everyone out there a very, very happy new year. In this episode, we're going to be talking about what everybody's talking about, our New Year's resolutions, right? And we want to extend some of those New Year's resolutions to our pets through grooming and other ways. So uh, stay tuned, we're gonna talk about it when we come back on Groomer Humor right after these brief messages. Molly, here's your dinner. (coughs) Zeus, that's not your food. Don't let that happen to your precious cat. Elevate your cat's eating experience with the Cat Tree Tray. The Cat Tree Tray keeps your cat's food off the floor and conveniently located on the cat tree. It's the perfect way to eat. It's a beautiful wrought iron tray that easily attaches to your cat tree and keeps dogs and other critters out of your cat's dish. A must for multi-pet households. There's a 6-inch tray for large bowls and a 4-inch tray for smaller bowls. Purchase your Cat Tree Tray today. Go right now to CatTreeTray.com. That's CatTreeTray.com. C-A-T-T-R-E-E-T-R-A-Y.com. Let's Talk Pets on PetLifeRadio.com. Hey everyone, welcome back to Groomer Humor on Pet Life Radio. Uh, before the break, we're talking about our New Year's resolutions, and uh, we're going to talk about that today, and uh, we're going to extend that to our pets, because we think that we have to make some resolutions for our pets, being that they can't make it themselves. And uh, I'm going to be honest with you, man, I was really, really lazy this New Year's week, and I'm going to be honest, I resulted to wearing a diaper again. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. So it's I not did. specific to during long flights anymore? Or no, you just wear no. them around the house. I'm just wearing them around the house now. I just, you know, I didn't want to, I didn't want to get up to go. You know, it's just, uh, it was just too much. Well, Twilight know. Zone was on, so Twilight Zone was on. I didn't want to get away from TV. You know. Right. Well, it's got to be easier because you can rather than get up to go to the bathroom 15 times, you just, you know, you change yourself about three times, so you're saving right. time. Or once. Yeah. Or once. Yeah. You could just stew in it. It dries. It's right, you know. I think it, it, what do you think? A lot of people were probably wearing well, diapers, yeah. right? I would imagine so. I mean, like think about like Times Square. There's nowhere to go, <laughs> right. you know. Like if you yeah. went there for that experience. I mean, I've never done it, but I wouldn't imagine that the stores are just like, Yeah, come on in, use our bathrooms. <laughs> like, you know. So I would probably say about ninety five percent of the people at Times Square were wearing diapers. <laughs> right. And we're not just you talking know. babies. No. So mostly adults. adults. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right. Just time it. Just time it. Yeah. Like time it with the ball drop and then you can <laughs> You know, nobody's going right. to notice. Right. When the ball drops, just go, man. <laughs> yeah, just go, man. Three, two, one. Ah. 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 <laughs> Happy New you Year. <laughs> the first P of 2018. Right, right. Yeah. And, and now that's a story you could tell your friends. Ah, I peed my pants at Times Square during the during the ball drop. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You see, it's a yeah. conversation piece. That, that, that's more impressive than climbing Everest or something. Exactly. Oh, yeah. see, I climbed the mountain <laughs> once. Yeah, well, I peed my pants at Times Square. <laughs> I peed my pants at Times Square <laughs> while the ball dropped. <laughs> while the ball dropped. <laughs> Man, you are off the rail. Yeah, uh, we're, yeah, we just started and we're already we're, <laughs> you know. ready to go. I like, I like it. Uh, what are some of your resolutions for this year, Ant? Uh well, I'd like to shower more. I'll say that right now. Right now, I guess I'll lead with that. That's always uh, kind That's of, good. you know, um, I don't know, f- maybe floss once in a while. <laughs> yeah, those are good. Good, you know. So, uh, you know, wash my clothes more than once a month. You know, <laughs> just you know, I, yeah. you know, I, I'm going just the basics right. of life that I that kind of uh, <laughs> buy for me sometimes. Right, right, right. I, I get you know? it. I get it. Yeah, uh, Ma- you know, yeah, I was thinking maybe because you bathe dogs all day when you get home. You don't want to bathe yourself. 
Absolutely, actually. I think that's what it is, to be yeah. honest. Mm-hmm. And like, see, it works both ways, too, because that's kind of like, think about it. You're giving dogs haircuts all day. So at the end of the day, your hair just falls out. Oh, uh, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I catch you. Right, right. I, I could see the comparison there. Yeah, <laughs> well, it's the, it's the same thing, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because yeah, you, like you do most of the cutting, mm-hmm. so you have mostly no hair. <laughs> right, I could see the uh, comparison there. I don't have much of a choice, but yes, I, yeah. I could see where. Right. You know, well, it's the you same. Know, that's that's debatable. You know, who knows? Mm-hmm. We yeah. don't really. You may have chosen this road. Who knows? Yeah. What uh? <laughs> what, uh well, what are what are some of your uh, resolutions? You got any? Oh, man, oh, this show is just taking on a life of its own. Yeah, I, <laughs> you know, I have a couple of resolutions. I mean, uh, you know, again, like for I think uh, the weight thing is just too generic for us. You know, I want to like cut my toenails more often kind of thing, you know, mm-hmm. I, 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 <laughs> I got like those upriser toenails that, you know, they hurt if you don't cut them, you know, mm. and I'm going to throw up. <laughs> sorry. But, uh, wow. no, it's just, I, <laughs> I'm wow. sorry. I, 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 but I'm I like, dude, I, I want to be more conscious of like putting on my compression socks to hold in my varicose veins kind of thing. <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> I want, I want to like snug up my hernia belt. Yeah. Maybe upgrade my flip phone to a slide phone this year. You got to help me with that. We got to go to yeah. Verizon. Yeah. You, know? you, you, you need an upgrade. I think yeah. your phone came out. I think I looked it up or it was 2011. Was it that your phone like was one of the, it was 2011 when your phone was one of the old ones on the shelf that you get for free as opposed to a good phone. So oh, yeah, you I, really need an upgrade. I was going to say 2011. That's fairly new to me. I didn't think it was that new to be honest with you. I thought it was going to be like, <laughs> I, I, I'm not kidding. I thought you were going to say like, Oh three. I you know got, what's I got cra- some time with this. No, see, What's crazy is, and this isn't even an exaggeration, for the last, uh, let's see, I'm 28 now. So for the last 18 years, you've had two cell phones. <laughs> what can I say? I take care of my stuff. I had the I've one been, same I've phone been driving all through high school, and then you got <laughs> this one, I guess, back in 2011. Yeah, and I've been driving the same car for the last 20. So, right, I mean, there I'm go. just that kind of guy. I like preservation. Yeah. yeah. Right. Know, well, that's, so, do, no. so do I. I get it to an extent. Remember, Listen, I said when, get the when I the wear diaper, I'm methodical with the diaper wearing too. It's not just because I'm lazy. I'm trying to save water. You know? That's true. Actually, you are kind of helping the planet. I'm trying to help the planet. I mean, come on. You yeah. can't go wrong with that. Every flush wastes like two and a half gallons. Come on. Right. So just turn that into. 20 di- diapers that we can go throw in a landfill <laughs> oh man see whenever yeah. you try to do one thing something else is up there <laughs> you're right you're, there it is there it's it a is crazy world we live in crazy just, crazy. <laughs> just leave it alone leave it alone <laughs> if it's yellow so, let it mellow let it mellow yo i'm not gonna say the rest of that <laughs> 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 So what so what are some of the things that we could do to extend our New Year's resolutions to our pets? I wrote down number one is chances are if we've gained weight, so of our pets. We see it every year, right, Aunt? Pets, oh, the yeah. dogs tend to come in pound or two heavy after the holidays, you know, they're getting the snacks, they're getting the goodies. So the parties. Yeah, yeah. That's one of the things that uh, we definitely want to address as far as extending that resolution. You know, you might want to, you know, work on uh, feeding your dog a little less take them out for walks more often. It'll be good for the dog, good for you. Another thing that we would like to do more of, I think, is let's inspect them more. Let's spend a little bit more time. Let's take more time to check them out. Let's check their ears out. Let's uh, let's brush their teeth more often. Uh, it's kind of the same things that our resolution is, ours, mine and yours personally, Ant. I think we're dogs. Yeah, sure. That's yeah. that's why our resolution is so similar to theirs. We're actually at, you and me are dogs. But I've spent so much time with dogs. I think I'm turning into one. I really we do. We are them, and they are us, my friend. And they are us. We are all one spirit. We are all one now. with the quadrupeds. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it's a, so again, it's just these things are important. Let's take more time to groom our dogs. Let's brush them more. Let's give them that extra bath. 
uh, spend more time with them. Maybe teach them a new trick. They got that. Maybe they got that new toy around Christmas time. Let's play with them more often. Let's teach them something. Spend more time. Maybe do some research. Work on some different diets. There's new foods out there. More grain-free diets. Uh, let's learn more, right? Let's learn more about our dogs. Yeah, yeah. especially the especially the diet thing. I a few months back when I did my uh, tips for dental hygiene video on our channel. I had mentioned in it that it's always changing. The research is always changing. What we know is always changing. So it's never a bad time to uh, Google some stuff about what's currently being uh, shown yeah. as a, a healthier alternative or, or whatever it is, you know. Yeah, absolutely. You know, there's so much stuff out there. We're learning. Everyone else is learning, too. So they, don't hesitate to go on Google find, or go on our YouTube channel, Grooming by Rudy. Yeah. If, learn more about grooming and other things, uh, training, diet. It's never ending. There's so much to learn about our dogs and our cats. You know, like for example, you know, let's take more time. Let's schedule more time during our week. Let's put them up on our grooming tables again if we have a grooming table. If not, just do it wherever is convenient. Uh, let's check the ears. Let's clean the ears more often. I've actually been noticing too lately that a lot of people are doing that. They're really taking some extra time. I know that a couple of my friends that I know, my friend Randy, for instance, his black lab, ace and right. um i had mentioned to and i always look at my uh the, my friend's dog's nails for some reason it's just the first thing my mind goes to like oh let's see how you know you guys would take care of the nails and i was looking at ace's nails and they hike with him constantly so his nails are very grinded down they rarely even ever have to get them cut but the first thing randy said when i said oh randy his nails are nice and short that's awesome the first thing he said was yeah but because we hike with him so much his paws are a little bit you know chewed up so i have to try that paw wax stuff that you guys told me about so like right, right. there is like yeah. an example yeah. of like you know, he's paying attention. Like he knows right. that the nails are short, but for mm -hmm. Randy to know that the pads are getting a little bit chewed up, that means he's yeah. actually looking at them. Like, you know, yeah. and it, I love seeing that. I like, and I'm yeah, seeing it a lot more lately, you know, yeah, you gotta, especially you know, Randy, especially he, Randy to know, cause he doesn't, you know, he's not very observant <laughs> of much of anything. But, you, know. <laughs> you know what? Now, now we got to introduce everybody to Randy. At some point. We'll, have, we'll have him on. Because he right. is, he is so, a really good dog owner. <laughs> yeah, he's a great dog owner. <laughs> you know, Dunceville on everything else. He's good at math. He's good at math. We'll give oh, him that. Really, he's very, very good, good at math. math. But no, it really, it, that's true. We're getting so much positive feedback on our YouTube channel, like with our How to Brush Your Havanese video. Yeah, uh, that, that a lot so of people are watching that one. Right. You know, Brett and Jackie, shout out to Brett and Jackie for letting us Snoopy for that video. Great video. Yeah. It's getting so much feedback. People are learning more about these little things that we take for granted, you know, brushing your dog on a daily basis or a weekly basis or biweekly basis, depending on, on your breed, the breed that you own. But that's what we want, you know, because the more the more feedback we get, the more we're learning, the more other people are learning. It's just let's create this whole vibe. And let's bring grooming to the surface because it is so important and it's something that we just really have to do whether we like it or not. It's right. just something that, you know, we have to take the time to do. And by just expressing our knowledge, uh, we're just broadening the spectrum of ultimately just taking better care of our dogs and cats, you know, yeah, uh, right. which is the goal. Yeah, absolutely. So, I think, uh, and the two, because like, I just wanted to say what you just said with the, uh, the brushing, without a doubt. Those are the two most commonly it's how do I brush my dog better and how do I clip the nails, especially right. those uprisers. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Your dog has uprisers like mine. Yeah. You got to get, gotta get, done. Gotta you, get you rid know? of those. They but yeah, yeah. start scraping the top of the sneaker. Ah, it's painful. <laughs> oh, God, you know I really am going to hurl. All right. I'm, saying, I'm, I'm sorry I even brought that back up. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, the point is, yeah, like what you were saying with the having these, I'm especially noticing that brushing, everybody needs to know how to brush their dog because that's the one thing that you really do need to do very very often like like that's right. sort of a daily thing depending on your breed obviously but yeah without question your longer breeds and even your shorter coated breeds even your pit bulls and your you know your your dobies and your flat coated labs you still want to brush them because a lot of dander or yeah. debris still will get caught under even a short coat and just by brushing them and gently scraping the skin you're loosening all that stuff up and getting it out of there you know yep yep uh, yeah definitely like i said i think the feedback is awesome thank you for all the positive feedback that we're getting and and we really appreciate people tuning into our channel and tuning into our radio show we're having so much fun with it because yeah. it, again the purpose of the show is just how do we better our pets lives 
You know, even cats, you have an indoor cat, their nails just never stop growing. You want to get those cat nails clipped. Um, you don't want those cat nails getting caught on anything or they're so long where they're starting to compromise the way the cat's walking. So let's just pay more attention. Let's check them out. You know, okay. have you ever seen um, that show, My Cat from Hell? Oh, I love it. It's one of is, my is it still shows. on? That show? Oh my god! I that I show. I was amazed <laughs> at that guy. No Amazing. fear whatsoever. Yeah. I mean, my goodness! It. But it's just so smart, and like that's I love. Like the more shows like that, the better, because that guy's saving people's lives who ended up with a cat that's going nuts, and they're like, "Why is this cat acting like this?" And then he'll come in and be like, "Oh, it's the, this breed likes to go sit up high, and you have nothing yeah. for him to sit up high." Boom, do that, and it's Boom. the sweetest cat in the world. Problem fixed. Problem solved. <laughs> problem solved yep problem. exactly thank god for uh you know for people like him and shows like that yeah that are doing that and, and uh, jackson galaxy wow. that's it jackson everybody calls him jackson, jackson. my boy jackson great show yeah, boy love that jackson. guy we gotta, we gotta get in contact to i'd love to have him on yeah jackson uh, give us a call yeah. We want to have you on a, as a guest on our show. Yeah, I would talk love to talk because I want to know. Brain a little. Yeah, I want to know more about how he even got into that. And I remember in one episode, this cat was hiding under the bed and it was so vicious and he's laying under the <laughs> bed with it. And the cat is basically telling him, dude, seriously, go away or I'm going to I'm going to slash you in the face. <laughs> You're going to remember this day. And the guy and and. Jackson, his response to that is he starts blinking really slowly to show the cat <laughs> that everything's okay and he's maintaining eye contact with it and, and he yeah. just like I'll blink slowly to just to it like you know yeah. to show the cat that everything's okay and that or, or something something along those lines. And I remember watching it like, where did you come up with that? How did you, come up with, how did you, how how did you, you find know that? that out? How yeah, do you know blink that? slow? Yeah. Come and on. You know what it Brilliant. Guys like Jack said, he didn't read it from a book. He just learned it through experience. Yeah, you, know? Right. <laughs> you know, he actually did get clawed up and then go, wait yeah. a minute, maybe if I blink slower, he, yeah. he won't claw me so much. Right. So, yeah. And it works. <laughs> Trial and error. Yeah, just yeah, brilliant, brilliant. I love. I I gotta. You know, I hope that's on like Netflix or something. If it's not, yeah. it should be. I gotta watch. Yeah. I just remembered that. It's. I love that show. Such a good show. We gotta yeah. get him. Yeah, exactly. The point we're making here is this is a whole new year, a whole new start, and when it comes down to these things, we're groomers, so of course we're gonna stress the grooming aspect of it. Once again, we're just going to let's take more time. Let's take more time. Let's clip our dog's nails more often. Don't wait until the nail gets, you know, starts curling up into the pad and, and stuff like don't wait that long, you know, go out, take your dog to the groomer, take him to the vet. You know, I know money's an issue, you know, but for nail clips, it's not that expensive. You know, I mean, it's 10, 15, $25. Let's put this aside. Uh, once a month, get our dog's nails clipped. You well, know, we, yeah, well, mm -hmm. just to, to kind of show what you're saying there, if it's a money thing, thing keep this in mind the longer you wait to do the nails on your dog the more work it's going to be for your groomer to do it so just in that alone you may have turned a ten dollar nail clip into a twenty dollar nail clip and not to boot if you're waiting so long where the nail goes into the pad now you've turned possibly a ten fifteen dollar nail clip into a hundred and fifty dollar vet visit because That's now right. they have to pull the, the nail out of the pad um Good not point. really yep. something that we do very often sometimes it's not that far in there and we're able to get away with it but it's you know it's you know, it should I've be seen, done by a vet i've seen it so bad in my 33 mm -hmm. year dog grooming experience i've seen such bad cases of nails growing into the pad where it actually grows into the pad and out of the other end of the pad. Extremely yeah, yeah. painful for the dogs, extremely, out, you know, and again, just a quick, easy fix, get them clipped, you yeah, know, just get, get them the, clipped, get them clipped, do it yourself. If you know how to do it, you could, again, we have a video on nail clipping, go to grooming by Rudy on YouTube, check out how we do it. If you don't feel comfortable doing it, once again, guys, there's options. You go to the vet, you go to the dog groomer, but get them right. done. So let's pay a little bit more attention to it. Very our important. Dogs. Yeah, put a little bit more time in. All too often, we're kind of forgetting that. We don't want to forget that. Let's boost them up in the, the line of things to do, you know. But, but prioritize. Prioritize. There it is. That's what I was talking about. Is that the that, word you were looking for? Prioritize? That's what I was looking for. Prioritize. That's why I need you. See, I'm not up on the lingo, man. I just, I don't. No, you're again, not articulate. Got, no, I'm not. I got the flip phone, dude. You, you know what I'm you saying? Flip, you have the flip on, phone and you don't know what articulate means. Right. And I grew up on the <laughs> streets. 
I don't know what articulate means. You know, you know, if you said, give me an adjective, I would give you an adverb. Mm -hmm. right? <laughs> even, even though I graduated high school, I would say based on, on my opinion, I probably have about a ninth grade education. Mm. Right. Well, I, didn't I, do I can't really that. judge you on that. You know, I, I had to cheat my way through Spanish class and my mother was born in Cuba. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, yeah, cheated off my friend Renzo. Yeah. When they asked me, you know, what language I wanted to take, I asked them if I could take Jim again. <laughs> Just as my elective language. Can I, can I take Jim over? <laughs> oh. Okay. We, we, we have to go to break. We're getting okay, too crazy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let's take a break and uh, we'll be right back after this. We'll be right back right after these messages. Stay tuned. Does your dog itch, scratch, stink, or shed like crazy? Come to Dynavite for help. Order a 90-day supply of Dynavite. Everything we tried failed except the Dynavite. Pick up two bottles of Super Mega Fish Oil. Get the third bottle free. Packed with omega-3, DHA, and EPA fatty acids. Super Mega is great for your dog's immune system, healthy skin, and soft, shiny fur. Dogs love it. Try Super Omega Fish Oil. Buy two. Get one free. At Dynavite.com. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot oh. com. Let's talk pets. Let's talk pets on Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. PetLifeRadio.com. <laughs> Welcome back to Groomer Humor on Pet Life Radio. I am Anthony Ray, hanging out with my dad, Rudy V, talking about New Year's resolutions and taking care of your pets as usual, having a good time, going off the rails a little bit, talking about just everything from soup to nuts on some resolutions and some ways to better your pets' lives, you know, to get the New Year started off on the right foot or four. Or paw. Or paw. Exactly. Right. Yep. Yep. So yeah, so just to recap, we're definitely going to inspect our dogs more. We're going to pay more attention. Let's clean those ears. Let's clip those nails. Let's brush. Let's bathe. Let's brush their teeth. Let's just stay on top of it, guys. You know, just general hygiene for ourselves, our pets. Very, very important. Although, you know, we're joking around about it. It's the truth, right? Um, let's work on taking that weight off for ourselves, our dogs, our cats. Let's exercise more. Let's take them out for more walks, you know, Let's play with them. And, you know, when I say play with them, I don't mean let's get up off the couch. Don't sit in the recliner and chuck the ball back and forth. You know, yeah. <laughs> let's get outside. Let's, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah it I really is. Uh, <laughs> I played with them just like you said, and I gained weight, man. What do you know? No, <laughs> listen, let's, let's, let's get off the couch. It really is a lot of the same, uh, same things you do for yourself as a, as a human being. A lot of very similar type things to do for your pet. To help with their resolutions, help them get the year started off good. Absolutely. I, know I, and I definitely gained some weight. Over did this you? Last month or so. You don't look like at you, Your head looks fatter. You got like a fatter head, but uh, your body looks the same. Thanks. I'm not really yeah. sure what to say to that. Maybe your grain, uh, your, your, maybe your, your, your brain is growing. <laughs> Did you just say maybe my, I'm green? I, I was going to say maybe your grain is growing, but I meant to say huh. maybe your brain is growing. Well, you know, a lot of people have grain growing problems, so <laughs> I don't think that's very nice. Stay off the sense. grain, man. More protein, more protein, more protein, less yes, grain, less grain. Oh, man. But uh, <laughs> at any rate, a lot of times at this time of year, people are gifted either a puppy or a kitten for, you know, for our kids or, you know, you, you know, somebody went out and purchased a puppy or a kitten. Great gift idea. A lot of times we kind of focus too much on the gift and the reaction of that gift. Uh, and we don't take into consideration the work that comes yeah. after the gift, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Well, like we just said, it's a priority and owning a pet, unfortunately, is not always just peaches and cream. Oh, yeah, I get to come home and, and he or she loves me and they jump all over me. That's only part of it. There is so much to learn and know and, and you have to take an interest in this stuff. 
make sure you take <laughs> lots of video on opening up that gift because you're going to want to remember that moment because that moment is quickly yeah. forgotten a month later, you know, when the dog mm -hmm. is, you know, is crapping in your house or peeing in the middle right. of the night, you know what I mean? Or barking like a nut, you know, yeah. at three o'clock in the morning, you know, <laughs> so that's what I was going to say. Um, yeah. 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 No, I, I agree. It's just, they grow up very quickly. Don't ever think that just because your pet is only a year old that things can't go wrong medically. People make that mistake a lot where it's, oh, you know, she's only two, so I'm not taking her to the vet. It's just like a little bit of a cough or something or some sort of allergy. It, there's yeah, a reason yeah. why pet insurance is growing. That business yep. is growing pet because it's sort growing. of necessary. And, if, you know, if you are short of funds, like a lot of people are these days, a puppy or a kitten may not be the best gift because, like you're saying, it's very, very costly it over the be. long haul. And all too often at this time of year, you know, a month or two later, our shelters are full of unwanted pets. So, you know, again, guys, let's think about this stuff. Let's acknowledge it and let's be smarter about this. If we're going to get a puppy or a kitten, make sure that you've made some good choices and you picked a breed that's right for yourself. You're in for the long haul and everybody's on board. Make sure that you can afford the puppy or the kitten so that it doesn't end up in a shelter and you know but if it does guys again let's check out our shelters let's check out our adoption agencies they're booming after yeah. the new year because of this issue it's kind of like getting a rabbit at easter time same thing you know that rabbit, people don't you know realize what ensues after so let's just yeah. be a little more conscious this year of that you know? yeah and people are doing it yeah. I remember yeah. I gave the example before of Randy with uh, his lab ace. And even uh, just last night, I went downstairs to see my neighbor's shepherd, Luna, Christina. Mm -hmm. And uh, Luna's usually running all over the house and kind of, but, but yesterday she seemed very, uh, very tired. And, uh, and right away, Christina got a little bit concerned and went, walked right up to the dog and touched her nose. Right. Um, to see if it was wet. And for anybody who doesn't know, when your dog's nose is wet, it means that uh, everything is okay. It's when the dog's nose dries up that they might have a cold or something like that. Yeah. Um, so, or or uh, dehydrated, uh, various yeah, things. Or dehydrated mm -hmm. or, yeah, mm -hmm. like if something's bothering them, check their nose, uh, you know, because if, if their nose is dry, that means like, okay, something is sort of maybe bothering them or maybe they're catching a cold or something. But again, just sort of very cool that uh, she knew to do that right away. Like right. as soon as, like at first she was like, oh, the dog is tired. But then me and Jess came downstairs and she wasn't bouncing off the walls like usual. So Christina gets up checks her nose it's like that little things like that i love to see right. because Absolutely. people are just taking an interest in the every all these little tips and all yep. these things that and little signs that yep. people not as many people were picking up on before are yep. really helping they're helping everything yeah even our customers coming into the shop they're just more aware they're letting us know oh you know he's got a little bump here or a little skin tag here or be careful you know his mouth might be a little sore because i looked at his gums and you know one you know looked a little right. inflamed people are definitely taking a different approach and and being more aware of just checking their dogs out and that's all it right. is really i mean yeah. it's, it's it's not hard and it's something we should be doing unfortunately you know a lot of years have gone by where we weren't doing this sort of thing, yeah. you know, where, you know, dogs were just tossed in the backyard or, you right. know, in the basement and we don't look at them, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But so the change is very exciting for us um, yeah. to see it because yeah. we've, we've been doing it so long that we noticed the change. We want to actually thank all of our customers out there that have been using us. We really appreciate you guys coming into our shop and through the years and, and just uh, frequenting our business and patronizing us. So shout out to all of our uh, grooming by Rudy customers out there. Thank yeah. you so much. Happy new, you, new year to all you guys. Yeah. You, know, you know who you are. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> and our listeners and our viewers. We love everybody. We love yeah, all we you do. guys. And we anybody, we're, we're, mm -hmm. anybody who takes an interest in, uh, in learning about their pet and not just listening to two knuckleheads it's uh even if you're not a listener or a viewer on our channel we still love you as long as as long as you love your pets we love you yeah we're knuckleheads but we love animals so it's cool to be a knucklehead that loves animals you know i do yeah i can't even kill a bug i don't know I'm like you too, Anthony. If we're watching a movie and you know you see like you know whatever, even a horse running over to, I can't even watch it. I, can't I know. Watch it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's just you know. Yeah. I, I don't, we're like that. I, I, I stopped watching Game of Thrones because of that. 
such an amazing show and two episodes in they kill uh like a husky or something oh and i was like you know what no, <laughs> no. and every time i tell people that they're like dude it's you know it's not real right i, I go i know I, but it still upsets me i don't want Anthony, i don't like that when you were a little boy do you remember watching what was it homeward, homeward bound? bound i already know remember what watching homeward bound when mm-hmm. uh what was the golden retriever's name again um uh, the golden her. retriever's name was was it Chance or Shadow? Whoa. It was. I think Which it was, was Shadow. Shadow. Chance was the boxer. Was Chance the boxer? Yeah, Chance was the boxer. Shadow got caught in like a ditch or something. Yeah, and they, had, they were going through the train tracks. Yep, and I had put the VHS tape in for you when you were watching it, and I went downstairs to get us some food or something, mm-hmm. and I came back in and you were crying, and yeah, I was like, "Yeah, what, what's the matter?" And your response was. <laughs> Shadow's stuck in the kitchen and can't get him out. Yep. And I said, Oh man, this guy's gonna be a dog groomer. <laughs> <laughs> I knew right then and I was like, Man, he's coming to work with me. Yeah. <laughs> One day I'm gonna be really famous and they're gonna say, How did it all start for you? And I'm gonna say, Well, homeward bound. <laughs> Shadow could get out of the hole. Couldn't get out of the hole because he was slipping and sliding and it was wet and he couldn't get out of the hole. He was stuck. I just hate it because it just looks so real. He's stuck in the mud and he gives up, but then he powers through and he gets out. I don't know. That messed me up. I hate that. I, to, to this day, I can't watch that scene. Big and I can't watch Sassy Shadow. get stuck in the river either. No, Sassy. Poor Sassy. The little Himalayan. Yeah. Speaking of Shadow, um, Sorry, you were we want to... No, no, it's okay. I just want... We both wanted to uh, dedicate this show to a couple of our great customers. One is uh, Diane and Sai with Shadow. Unfortunately... Shadow's no longer with us. A beautiful, beautiful little dog, uh, Cocker Spaniel. He's, as a matter of fact, he's on our video on Grooming by Rudy. If you want to check Shadow out, he was so cute. Uh, we did a little ear demonstration on Shadow, our Cocker Spaniel. So we just want to thank Diane and Sai for allowing us to get to know Shadow. And also, we want to thank uh, Greg and Kim out there who had uh, Hamlet. We want to uh, definitely dedicate our, this show to Hamlet as well. Big New Finland, he's also on our video. Yes. Uh, just check out Hamlet on Grooming by Rudy if you want to see him, who also unfortunately passed away this year. But again, not to be sad, we actually want to be celebrate their existence because they brought so much joy to their owners and to us as well. So we just really want to thank, we want to thank you guys out there for letting us uh, get to know your dogs for sure. Thanks so much for stopping by, guys. As always, we'd like to thank our producer, Mark Winter. Thank you so much, Mark. Uh, If you haven't already, head over to our YouTube channel. It's called Grooming by Rudy. That's Grooming by Rudy on YouTube.com. Leave a comment, like, share, subscribe. We want to hear from you guys. You uh, could also like Grooming by Rudy on Facebook. Follow Grooming by Rudy on Instagram. It's been an absolute pleasure. Until next time, take care of yourselves and your pets. Let's Talk Pets, every week on demand. Only on PetLifeRadio.com.